Good morning. I hope your day is speaking up swimmingly. You're back on time for News Diary. My name is Dibal Ayanair. Uh, as always, I'm not driving the show alone. I got my colleagues with me. We have uh, Marimi Mwangi all the way from the city centre joining us uh, this morning on the political diary. Also, we do have uh, Robinson Okenye. We was putting tells on the WRC just to prime us on the preparations uh, for the safari rally. We have Ibrahim Karanja as well this morning and we're joined as well by Msafiri on the social media. We just want to begin with the political diary. I cross over now to our city center studios where we have Murimi Mwangi to prime us on what is happening on his docket this morning. Murimi, good to see you. Good morning. Right, uh, Murimi, if you can hear me, good morning. What is on your political diary this morning? Continues, uh, the Azimio la Umoja One Kenya Coalition uh, traversing Laikipia and Samburu counties today are split in the group as uh, the former Prime Minister to us, Samburu, the running mate team uh, led by NAC Kenya leader Martha Karoa will be in Samburu. Uh, while the Kenya Kwanza team also has two events today, they will be at the Ngong race course where they are expected to sign a charter is remember this is in the run-up to the launch of the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto at the end of this month. Uh, in the afternoon they expected in Kajiado town for a political rally that of course interesting because uh, just two days ago uh, the former prime minister's team was there campaigning and uh, therefore the Kenya Kwanzaa team is of course expected to try and outdo uh, what uh, the Azimio La Umoja team uh, managed to do there during the campaigns. Also today, eyes on the IEBC as Kenyans uh, await the formal gazettement of the audited voters register. I remember the key political players continue crunching the numbers and particularly a directive from the commission uh, that it will not be using the manual voters uh, register in this uh, upcoming general election. And of course, a look at the numbers also for key players in terms of how they are expected to reorganize their campaign messages to meet the different needs of the, demograph uh, the demographic groups that have been represented in the audited voters register debal. The studios we shall be putting tales on that story as well much much later in the course of the day as always we want to cross over to ibrahim karanja all the way in akuru also to prime us on what is happening on the campaign trail good morning ibrahim still focuses on nakuru county after that visit by deputy president william bruto in the closed door meeting with residents of Njoro and Molo, uh, that was on uh, two days ago. Today, his running mate, Rigadi Gashagua, comes back to Nakuru County and this time to stay because he'll be here for a couple of days. He starts today uh, with a visit to three constituencies, uh, that is Rongai constituency, Bahati constituency, and Subukia constituency, uh, just to try and seal the numbers to make sure that Kenya Kwanzaa maintains what was perceived to be a lead for a very long time in this particular region and to deny their closest competitor, the Azimula Umoja, One Kenya Coalition pa political party, any votes that they may, may be getting from this particular area. So today, Rigadi Gashagua, of course, accompanied by that UDA brigade, will start in Rongai constituency. This comes a day after he answered those who are disquiet within Kenya Kwanzaa, especially party leaders of the Tujibebe wa Kenya party, William Kabogo, uh, Chama Takazi's Moses Kuria, and the service party's Mwangi Kyunjuri. Remember yesterday, Rigadi, while in Kenyaga County, stated that he is a man on a mission and will not be distracted by the three party leaders who are stating that he was a dictator and not a very good choice as the running mate for William Ruto in the contest for uh, the presidency in August 9th. So we want to see what uh, Rigadi will be telling the residents of Nakuru today. Remember, the votes that he is looking for uh, goes to about 200,000, actually 220,000 votes in the three constituencies. Subukia constituency having 61,000, in excess of 61,000 votes, according to the 2017 register, because the IBC is yet to give us the register they'll be using uh, on August 9th. Also, Rongai constituency, according to the 2017 register, in excess of 77,000 voters, and Bahati constituency in excess of 87,000 voters. This is what Rigadi Gashago is looking for. And to also campaign for a six-piece Kenya Kwanzaa uh, uh, seat, 
you know, people to support Kenya Kwanza six piece and especially the UDA party. And the reason why Rongai will be interesting is uh, it might be a headache uh, for Kenya Kwanza, especially given that the area is represented in parliament by a Kanu member of parliament. Speak about Raymond Moy, who is still seeking a third term under Kanu, yet the UDA party is also fielding a candidate in Paul Chabor. Uh, Elias Mamba in that particular region. And this is where the home of uh, the late President Daniel Torotita Rapmoy, his Kabarak home, sits. So the politics of Rungai will be interesting to follow. We also uh, think that today there shall be uh, the two leaders, the two UDA leaders who have been having differences will gel in together. Talk about Governor candidate Susan Keheka and Bahati, Member of Parliament Kimani Ngunjiri, owing to their reconciliation two days ago. Remember on Monday, uh, when, when Deputy President visited on Monday in Joro, Kimani Ngunjiri stood and said that the differences spoken about between him and Susan Keheka was a creation of the media and that he takes Susan Keheka as his daughter and that that is his governor candidate. So uh, today we expect the two of them to work together, but we also will be waiting to see how long that will last because it has been a love-hate relationship between the two of them. So yes, Deputy uh, President-designate for the UDA party and Kenya Kwanzaa, uh, Regadi Gashagwa, will be here, while at the same time, uh, it is highly likely that the Deputy President himself, William Ruto, who is UDA's presidential flag bearer, would, might be in the neighboring Kerito County to attend the funeral of the mother to former Bomet Governor Isaac Ruto. That funeral will be happening today, so uh, Deputy President William Ruto expected there and later on expected to go to Kajiado County. This uh, shows what Kenya Kwanza has been doing in the past couple of weeks, just splitting up, sending one team to one side, the other on the other side, just to ensure that even as the, the, the country remains with 47 days to the polls, they get to seal what they believe is their stronghold amid very, very tight competition from the other presidential contenders, Dibal. Ranger, and our condolences uh, to uh, the former governor of Bumet, Isaac uh, Ruto as well. Our deepest sympathy uh, to the family. Thank you very much, Ibrahim Karanja. Let's now buckle down to the Fast and the Furious. We had also Robinson telling us about the endurance and the greet on uh, this year's uh, safari rally let's just cross over to him to on uh, where he is located right now on location in naivasha to just uh, prime us on what is happening today good morning robinson good morning